Hello, friend is Boris here, and today it's time for my finishing tutorial of FIFA 22 and this one is highly requested because the finishing is the most difficult thing and I think the most frustrating thing that you will feel in starting out to playing this game, but not because finishing is actually that hard, but because keepers are really crazy this game. They are very powerful, especially in the box, and in this video we're going to find out that the best way is simply to beat and now smart uh, these superman keepers. I'm gonna start out with the most uh, classic way of finishing, that is the power shot in this game, and that is uh, still this year a good option, but what is different from Field 21 is that near post is not as good. In general, you should try to finish across the goal towards the far post, because near post here, keepers are just gonna be very, very crazy. And time finishing in this year has a big role, it has a big impact, and it will improve the shot around the 15-20%, which can be the key here to beat uh, the keeper. But also what is so important as well is to look for the keeper movement. That is a big part. Sometimes it's just hold the shot for like half a second and wait and see simply how the keeper will move. Most times the keeper will move towards the four post and leave the near post completely open. But if the keeper doesn't move, then four post is the best option around here. Two bars of power is the sweet spot and just here aim. Towards the far poles, you have assisted finishing, and you will find this left side or right side if you just aim properly with the left stick. But near pole sometimes works as well, but you must use here very high power around three bars to find this top net. This is gonna be, of course, very risky because there's a big chance to hit the crossbar or shoot over, and that is why it is overall better to use the low driven shots in the box. We're gonna come to that a bit later. But first we're going to talk about the finesse shots, which uh, this FIFA is the main finishing technique. It is the best way to finish. And always try to look for this finish and go for the four poles. And the key with this one is to find the right posture, around the 45 to 90 degrees uh, towards the goal. And then you just, of course, press R1 or RB Xbox and find here this uh, four poles finish. And the sweet spot is around the 2.5 bars of power. And sometimes as well, to find this uh, right posture towards the goal, you can use a ball roll simply to get this perfect angle uh, towards the goal for a nice finesse shot. But also as well, the first touch is the key to get this uh, right layup and then straight into this uh, finesse uh, shot. And green timing will improve the shot a lot. Uh, green timing this year is again a key feature and should be practiced as it really will here improve your uh, success rate with these uh, finesse shots. But they are the best in the game, just to spam them, uh, close range, uh, long distance. And keepers also get uh, really weird animations for uh, these shots, which makes them even more effective. Uh, so yes, uh, long distance flash shots is pretty much uh, the easiest and best way to score goals in this game. This might get patched, but other than, uh, let's just, I guess, enjoy it. And the best way to practice time finishing is to go here to quick play modes. And then go to skill games and you have to finish first of all all these basic uh, exercises and then you will unlock here the other ones and the best one here is to go to shooting and then beat the goalie here shooting advanced beat the goalie and you can practice the time finishing for days just practice and try to find here this uh, right timing you have to press the shooting button twice first time of course to power up a second time to time the shots and in this game, you have to be quite quick. You see that uh, this now is too late. It is almost like a double tap. One, two. And rather make this second tap a bit uh, later than earlier because if you overtime a shot, if you get this white marker, it means that you press too late and it will not change the shot. But if you press too early, the error will get uh, way higher with yellow and especially, of course, red timing. So rather make this a second tap a bit later than earlier. That is the rule of thumb when it comes to time finishing. And time finishing should be used mainly in jogging speed because then it is easier to find always a green timing than if you have full sprint speed. It gets uh, quite hard here to find this uh, right timing unless you're of course an expert uh, at this shot but the risk is very often higher than the reward. So if you don't feel confident uh, with the time finishing then use it only in jogging speed. But is time finishing really needed is a question. It is needed if you want to become a finishing monster, but you will still score goals without timing. But to take this to the next level, to become a finishing expert, you should learn time finishing. And over to low driven shots. So they are back this year and that is the best way to finish in the box using a low driven shot, holding down L1 or one at the same time. 
and then you will get this uh, low shot which is harder for the keepers this year to save because keepers save everything in mid range but when the ball travels on the ground they will have uh, big issues and also as well you won't risk uh, shooting here over the target which is very common if you try here just a power shot an angle here matters as well let's try to find this here 45 degree angle away from the goal is actually the best one and then shoot across the goal that is uh, the best way so again 45 degree away from the goal like this trying to look towards the corner flag and then shoot it across the goal that is the most consistent way to score low driven shots and the sweet spot here is around the three bars of power since this is a shot that always will go low you can use high power without any issues and it's going to be even harder for the keeper to save but they are the best as well in jogging speed because if you have sprint speed the error will increase so to maximize the success rate for this finish try to have jogging speed not full speed and then have this a bit the twisted angle towards the goal and aim for the far post with around the three bars of power even though near post the works as well but not with the same success rate what about then time finishing for this one it is not as needed as it is for power shots and finesse shots but of course it will improve here the outcome but low driven shots will still be great even without timing and then we come to one one against the keeper and this year chip shots are not as good not as consistent as they were last year but they still work out and they're the best use if you have no options left if you cannot dribble the keeper or anything then chip shots is still the best option but this year you have to take this shot a bit earlier and use a bit more power here uh, around 2.5 to 3 bars of power and aim for this uh, for post that is the best way to execute uh, chip shots uh, but if you can if the ball is on the ground the best possible way to beat the keeper is with a ball roll just have the timing here around 2-3 meters before collision with the keeper just here aim the right stick, get left or right here to make this ball roll and enjoy this open net. It is still uh, this year the most consistent way to beat a rushing keeper. But before you do anything, look for a teammate to pass. Uh, try to sweat it. That is still of course 100% uh, the safest way one on one is to find a pass and open it because with these uh, Superman keepers you never know. So what did we learn today? Well, we did learn that the finesse shots is overall the best technique in this game. Try to utilize this one as much as possible, spam finesse shots. The power shots work as well. They should be taken mainly to the far post across the goal. And if not, you should use your high power if you want to finish near post. But in the box though, the best way and the most consistent way to score goals is with the low driven shots. They should be used as much as possible and to beat the keeper you should use here a ball roll. But this year, even if you do everything right according to the textbook, you can still sometimes miss the shot. The keepers can still make some crazy saves because it is a less arcade game. So don't get too frustrated, but using these tricks here will improve the efficiency a lot. That's it though, I thought today I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If it did so, make sure to drop a like we have more stuff coming tonight as well again. Time for the road to glory with the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you know, until next time, take care.